So that's what I usually do is I wait for the character. We tell enough story so the character has really arranged themselves in the spot that they can't get out of, and then they buy their own death. Uh, perfect example of that, Ramirez. When Ramirez said to Kane, sorry for people who haven't watched 109 yet, but sorry. Uh, when Ramirez said to Kane, you're just as stupid as Monet thought you were. I think that's the line, or as stupid as Monet says, or stupid as I thought. That's it. Monet's right about you. You are stupid. You gotta get that gun because you you were swole. You used bass in your voice about him a while ago and you weren't ready. You weren't ready. With you gone, she now needs me more than ever, so Tariq is not a problem for me. Especially if Drew dies. You pull, you make it easy for me. So get the f out of my face before I change my mind. Make this mistake. You think Monet hates you now? Sorry, done. I'm on the dangerous. Ain't no walking at the like now. Ain't no. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love power, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, today we're gonna be talking about Power Book to Ghosts. Remembering Officer Ramirez. This is a guy that was connected with the Tejada organization, a guy that was clapping Monet's cheeks, and a guy that talked entirely too much. So he met his fate in the last episode of Power Book 2 Ghost. So we're definitely going to talk about him and his character, his journey in this power universe. Now, you guys leave your theories, predictions, everything down below. Let me know how you felt about Officer Ramirez and just some of the things that he did. Now, before we even begin the video, because everybody's been hitting me up and they've been saying the same thing because we still, to this day, we don't have a RIP, rest in peace, James St. Patrick picture. It's not up yet. They still have not put it up yet. Now, I do believe Ghost is dead. I've told you this time and time again. I told you if he was to ever somehow pop back up, that is because they want him to pop back up. But he is gone. But the question is, whether you believe Ghost is dead or alive, why haven't they put up the RIP picture of James St. Patrick, right? Why haven't they put it up? I'm going to tell you my personal opinion before we begin the video. My personal opinion is this. Why why put it up where if you can have the fans still believe that he's alive? That's going to be more ratings, more people watching, more people talking. Now, that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Why would I put that up and I can get more viewers? So that's my explanation of why the picture is not put up. Um, it could be wrong. At the end of the day, Ghosts in this picture not being put up for months and months and months, hell, almost a year. To me, I got a feeling it's all promotion. And as of right now, it seems like it is working. Um, it's definitely a reason why it's not up. I'm going to tell you that right now. Regardless of what you believe, it is definitely a reason why it's not up. Because we already saw all the other characters in their pictures up. Why not Ghosts? That is still a question to ask but let's begin this video man we're talking about your boy officer ramirez we are remembering him in his journey in the power universe now officer ramirez he's connected to the tejadas organization when we first saw him we realized that he had a very close relationship with monet and it was quite obvious that monet was using officer ramirez as a pawn that's all she was using him for we can clearly see it, but along his journey, it seemed like his feelings towards Monet was stronger than her feelings towards him. And I just don't think he fully understood what he was into. Um, no matter what, Monet was always Lorenzo's, as she told him later on in the season, but he kept just sticking around like it was some type of hope, right? Now, this storyline, I was hoping and praying that Hopefully, Lorenzo will find out that Officer Ramirez was clapping Monet's cheeks. That never came out. Um, of course, Lorenzo does know that 
Ramirez is working for them. Um, that was one of the questions that a lot of fans had, which was answered once Ramirez told Kane this. But I wanted to see this storyline open up a little bit more, man, because I wanted to see Lorenzo's reaction while Ramirez was alive. You know what I'm saying? He would have been pissed off that Monet was getting her cheeks clapped by him, right? Now, along this journey as well, we got to remember that ever since the beginning of the season, Kane has been watching Officer Ramirez. He's been watching. He's been building up this anger. He's been very pissed off. This is one of the things that he does not agree with. He does not like Ramirez for real. He was just using him just like his mother was using him. And he believes her messing around with him was against the family code. And Kane, he was very big on the family code, right? Now, they kind of gave us a foreshadow of Kane killing the officer and actually Officer Ramirez because we saw Ramirez save his partner from being killed um, earlier on in the season. The crazy part was Kane ended up killing him later on, right? But they kind of hinted at it right here with Kane telling you and showing you that he's willing to take down an officer if he had to, which is very risky and dangerous. That's what you're going to see in this next episode of him trying to clean this up. But it shows you that he's willing to take out whoever, even if they work for the government right now. Once again, no matter what happens, no matter all the stuff that Kane goes through, how many times... Officer Ramirez has to save the day for this family. Monet still puts him in his place. Ramirez always wanted more. That's all he wanted. He wanted more out of Monet. To be honest, he wanted Monet for himself. But that definitely wasn't going to happen, right? Now, of course, this buildup of anger to take down Officer Ramirez got worse. Especially when your boy Tariq was all in his head, just making you feel bad about what's going on. This didn't do nothing but pump up Kane a little bit more, right? Because now he's like, okay, Tariq, he even knows I can't go out like that. I have to say something. I have to do something about this. And this is what made Kane, you know, begin his rebellion and start to go off on his mother, right? Now, Ramirez really wanted to handle Kane at the end of the day. All the times he saved the kid, he wanted to handle him, especially after he put his hands on Monet. He didn't like that. He wanted to handle it. Monet, of course, had to continue to tell him, look, you don't worry about Kane. I got this. And I am Lorenzo's. I'm not yours. So I, as again, as I tell you guys, Ramirez, he stuck around too long. He should have known earlier that this would never work out for real. But deep down inside, he believed he could have Monet to himself. And that's what got him killed. That's at least one of the reasons they got him killed. But sticking around and thinking that it was going to get any like any better, no. It wasn't going to happen at all, right? Now, one of the things that Ramirez did do, he made Kane believe that he would help Kane, right? Because he helped Kane get out from being locked up and... He pretty much made a deal with Kane to take down Tariq. But we know that definitely did not happen. But Ramirez, he feeds into all this. This is what he likes. He wants Kane to believe that he's on his side because he knows he can get to him. Monet already told him that he's not the brightest. So he thought he can do exactly what he wanted to do when it came to Kane. Now, the sad part is this. Regardless of what was going on, Ramirez still defended Kane. He still defended him and tried to help him out, but things blew up. Um, Ramirez finally saw the light and said, you know what? Monet doesn't need you. Hell, Drew, he's a probably about to die, and if he does, Monet's going to need me even more, so I don't need, even need to be messing around with you. He was running his mouth entirely too much, man, and you already know what happened to Kane right before this. I mean, his mom pretty much disowned him. Um, his brother just got shot, and he he was at his breaking point for so for Officer Ramirez to even be running his mouth like that. That was his death wish, as Courtney Kemp said. Like, why would you run your mouth to a man like this? You underestimated Kane, and that's the last thing that you do not want to do, right? And this is what he did. So he met his fate. Now, as I told you guys, I was hoping that this storyline would open up more that Lorenzo would find out about 
um, Monet's adventures with Officer Ramirez while he was alive. But of course, that did not happen in Ramirez. He met his fate. So today we are remembering Officer Ramirez, a.k.a. Detective Ramirez. This guy stuck around too long and he ran his mouth entirely too much. He should have known from the very beginning that this relationship wasn't going to do anything for him. Um, getting too close was his weakness. He should have played his position and stayed in the back. But he didn't want to do that. He stuck around, got caught up, ran his mouth, and got caught slipping. But it is what it is, man. Um, you guys let me know, man. What do you think about his character? Um, the crazy part is this is, I believe, one of the first RIPs that they put up for Power Book 2 Ghosts, if I'm not mistaken. I don't think it was any other main characters that have passed in this season thus far. So we shall see what's going to happen in episode 10 because we already know usually in the season finales, big things happen and usually main characters drop. No one is safe. So we want to see who's next. But you guys let me know, man. Make sure you follow the playlist. Keep yourself updated on all the latest Power Blue 2 Ghost news. And I will catch y'all on the next one. But let me get on out of here, man. It's your boy Mark Dark. I'm out. Peace.